Perspective is a powerful thing. How you see things is a powerful thing. But sometimes we don't always see things the right way. We don't see all angles. We typically only see a very narrow vision and we tend to judge what we see based off of that. And then how we act forward is based off of that perspective. So am I laying in the snow? Am I sitting in the snow? Am I standing up? Am I over you? Each perspective gives a different opportunity to feel a particular type of way. Like us as humanity, we all have our own perspective, but none are wrong. Everybody has their all point of their view. You know, just kind of to give you a tidbit so that maybe we could stop judging one another and get out of of critique, get out of looking at people and automatically formulating some painting in our mind. I mean, God, how many times have you painted a picture about a person just by one little action that they do? And a lot of the times that picture doesn't turn out to be so good. Or when your loved ones are around and you fear something and then you paint this terrible picture in your mind about what it is that they have to go through. Well, that's real energy. That's real power. And now they have to fight through your negative fear going forward, which doesn't make things easy on people. We need a new perspective change, a new perspective change. You are energy and you have chakras in your body. And the only way to really truly change your outer world is to change your inner world. You have to focus within and know yourself. You've got to look within. What better do we have to do right now? than to heal our wounds and realize that when we change how we feel we react differently and now all of a sudden every day is quite different because we have chosen to think differently and see it from a different perspective so (laughs) sickness is only a perspective change away that's how powerful you are you create your own disease and sickness within your body if you go to a doctor and they say that you have a year to live your belief is so deep within that system that you create the sickness and you will meet that year mark unless you have the will to live more which most people really don't because let's face it sometimes this place is a really nasty place to live because everybody's just in a negative idea about who they are because everybody has the wrong perspective the only problem is that we are missing a piece and that piece is spirit that piece is soul that piece is energy and to not know that part of you is to create a mindset called dis-ease, disease. And from that stems a lot of sickness and disease. So if you're dealing with problems right now, rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, if you have illnesses or ailments or anything that are afflicting your body right now, it is happening because you're disconnected from your own spirit. And when you put your energy back into a balanced state of mind, the body starts to heal itself perpetually forward. You have to remember disease is profitable healing is not so question what's given to you and don't swallow what's been given to you don't allow your mind to think that you are diseased that you can get sick that it it, it will come to you because you're a powerful being and you create that and if you really want the world to be a better place then change your perspective about who you are you know learn about energy learn about chakras Or do you just want to die? Are you done living altogether? Because the greatest gift is life. Because to be able to feel what true love is when having an entire life without it, to feel what God truly is when you go an entire life being atheist and not believing in stuff like that, to be denied all of your life just for one moment to let go and let God and then all of a sudden you start to live and you feel and you heal, and you grow, and you see it happening around you, the people that you touch around you, revival is what America needs. Revival is not just what America needs, it's what the entire world needs, because we are one, and we need to start looking within ourselves and not outside of ourselves. And our government really needs to show that that if they care about the people, then they need to learn about what karma is. They need to learn about what <clears throat> chakras are. It's not witchcraft, and to think it's witchcraft is to deny yourself growth because you are a powerful be- being, powerful being, and you always get what you believe. That is your God given gift, and it's time for you to change your perspective of who you are so that way we can start moving forward as the true divine beings that we were born to be and what we were meant to be because we have it in us to do so. So be blessed, loved one. Truly are.